Hey everyone, Colin Beckford here, back with another scales analysis. Um, this time it's for Toru Miyazaki's second place East Japan freestyle. Toru placed second to Ryota Ogi, who also had a really cool freestyle at this contest. I think Toru probably had my favorite from the event though, mainly because of how cool his tricks were. Um, Toru's been doing cool tricks on stage for years now. I think his style has actually kind of evolved in some way. He kind of started out doing a bit more of technical style tricks with really like unique slacks, but over time he's gotten a lot faster, less dense, and also more dynamic in the tricks he does. Um, he's incorporating a lot more zones and doing a lot more visually harder looking tricks too. So um, his change in yo-yoing has been really cool and he's still one of my favorite players, so this freestyle was a blast to watch. Um, I already scored it, so let's get into the video. I think this first trick is really cool because of the zones here. Um, he kind of swings it around both of his wrists and has that cool arm ending as you can see there. Um, maybe he wasted some time with this first throw though because like although that regen there at the end in the bind was cool, um, didn't score a ton. I think this combo is an older trick from Toru. Um, it's solid from a technicality perspective but he's not really doing a lot of unique elements. It's a lot of just hits. so. I didn't score it too high. I think this part of the trick is great though. That double slack was really subtle, but um, super difficult. And those two or three slacks he did in succession were also really clean. Very solid 2.5 hook. Um, he transitions directly into that arm trick of his, which is really cool. Um, had a pretty big miss there. And you can see he's kind of like doing a not so good job at recovering based on the trapeze bouncing stuff, but he ended that trick really cool. Um, I love this combo of Toru. It's just like kind of all over the place in terms of the zones he was using. He did have a really big fumble, as you can see here, with that reverse green triangle. Um, likely harmed his execution score a bit too. As you can see, Toru's tricks have really good control in terms of how he's presenting them. Um, the elements are really defined and clean, but he's having quite a few mistakes, which kind of comes as a result of doing harder tricks, but still really entertaining freestyle. Um, this arm trick is spectacular. The use of him using both of his arms there at the end was a great way to finish it off, but just really difficult tricks. Um, here's another one. Again, this one's kind of a bigger trick where he's doing a lot of like clearly seen movements all over his body, pretty much involving both arms. Um, he did miss that bind at the end of the combo, unfortunately. Here's another technical combo from Toru. This is probably one of his strongest combos in his freestyle. Um, just really well put together, and I really like this ending part too. A bit risky with that green triangle suicide, but it's a great looking trick. This part of his freestyle is straight up insane. Uh, that behind the head catch there at first, and then also this next segment with the hops is just brilliant. Um, I scored a lot of those elements plus two, which means they're quite difficult. Now we've got another technical combo from Toru. Um, it looks really cool, but I didn't score it super high. Again, kind of like the trick earlier on, he's not really doing a ton of different elements necessarily. Now this trick, just probably the best trick of the freestyle, he did a green triangle around his neck so effortlessly, it seemed like, I don't know, it was just a very fast trick. Um, this part of his freestyle right after that was quite shaky though. He missed like two or three elements in a row there, unfortunately. I think he finishes it off with this cool arm combo here. Um, he's been doing some of these elements for a while, but he always adds on, which is kind of cool. Like this thing right here. Um, cool looking trick. I'm not sure how high judges would score it overall, though. That slack sequence is also really neat to watch, and um, overall, a cool way to end the freestyle. I'd say the song got slower, and I think the trick kind of matched that, which was nice. Um, as you can see, that was Toru's freestyle. Overall, the tricks in there were super impressive. Um, as far as my critique for this freestyle is concerned, I think his trick variety is maybe not so good, um, more specifically in the context of scoring points rather than the actual trick diversity score, because he did do a really good blend of, you know, like technical select tricks, but also body stuff with the neck elements and all the arm tricks. But um, in terms of scoring, I feel like he missed out on a lot of trick types. Like he could have done quite a few hops. Um, he only did 2.5 hook I believe and reverse Brent soul in terms of laceration so um, a lot of competitors pretty much all of them nowadays are doing more than that in those trick types um, so those are just a few examples also stuff like horizontal behind the back um, him doing more of those tricks probably would have increased his clicker store clicker score a bit but um, the way his freestyle is as is is super entertaining and I would say 
on a first watch, you'd think it's really good variation wise. Um, but again, he probably could score more by doing different trick types. Um, some other notes. Sometimes the tricks in the freestyle looks pretty rushed, I would say. Like he had that one part with the neck elements where all those tricks were super hard. He was kind of just speeding through them. Um, it looked sort of uncomfortable even because of how fast he was going. So maybe that was uh, another thing too. Like the pacing at times is kind of rough. Um, he also did have quite a few negatives, not a ton, but um, wasn't an extremely clean freestyle necessarily. I do think he would have won had he gone cleaner, but um, as is, you could tell it was kind of a rough, shaky freestyle and um, not his best work. But in terms of the tricks he's doing, just amazing. Like so many moments in that freestyle, you just watch in awe. Um, not only the tricks are hard, but this pace he's doing them at and also just, I don't know, it's just so good. Um, and just to see how, like, a few years ago, he wasn't really doing many arm tricks or neck tricks, but now, like, those are probably his best tricks. Just, like, a really interesting evolution in play style, and that's what makes Toru one of my favorites. So I hope you enjoyed this analysis, and let us know who you'd like to see a video for in the comments.